In addition to improving road connections, the Westgate Tunnel Project will revitalise Melbourne's west with new and improved walking and cycling paths. Currently, it isn't easy riding into the city from the west. There's traffic, traffic lights, and a massive gap in the Federation Trail. The Brimbank Bicycle Users Group frequently ride in Melbourne's inner west and talk about the need for change. Cycling around the inner west of Melbourne can be very problematic, especially with all the major routes where you've got trucks and cars. So this particular link here, when it's finished, that'll be a fantastic asset to this whole area. Improving cycling infrastructure within the western suburbs is a must. If the infrastructure's there, people will use it. So we're building over 14 kilometres of new and upgraded paths from Altona North to the CBD, making it safer and more efficient for cyclists and pedestrians. This will include building the missing link in the Federation Trail, bridges over busy intersections, a suspended cycling path under the new elevated road, and elevated paths over Mooney Ponds Creek. Cyclists as far as Werribee will have a much more direct ride to the city. Ebru, a senior engineer on the Westgate Tunnel project, takes us through the ins and outs of the Federation Trail upgrades. Upgrading existing paths, such as Federation Trail as you can see here, creating new connections and providing a revitalised urban environment will provide people with better options during their commute. Westgate Tunnel Project will tie in the missing links and provide a continuous connection for people travelling from Melbourne's outer west to the CBD. So these links will include completing the Corroit Creek Trail between Greaves Parade and Federation Trail. There'll also be upgrades to the trail from Corroit Creek to Fogarty Avenue and the new elevated walking and cycling path that will extend Federation Trail through to Hyde Street. The elevated path will extend over Williamstown Road and run alongside the new Hyde Street exit ramp on the north side of the freeway. From Hyde Street, the path continues up through Yarraville, with a new bridge over Whitehall Street from Yarraville Gardens. The path will then reach the new Velloway at Footscray Road. Peter is a senior engineer on the project and talks about the connections that run from Footscray to Docklands. The Velloway will be basically attached to those roadways in a manner that will make it appear as though it's suspended. The Velloway will be constructed at its western end connecting to Shepherd's Bridge. At that point it'll be elevated up from Shepherd's Bridge and then it'll be running below the elevated roadways that are going to be built along Footscray Road. The Valaway is going to be a high standard facility, four metres in width, two and a half kilometres in length. It's predominantly fabricated from steel and will be uh, provided with lighting and CCTV monitoring. Also, there's going to be provision for access for emergency vehicles to gain access to and travel along the Valaway. The Valaway will provide a much quicker and safer journey because it avoids having to cross a number of intersections along Footscray Road. On the eastern side of the Westgate Tunnel project, there will be new and improved connections at Dynan Road near the City Link intersection. This includes the construction of two bridges over the creek and connects to the Capital Trail, North Melbourne Station and the new Fellaway on Footscray Road. Every person that you get on the bike that's one person that's not on the car and we reduce our carbon footprint and we're keeping healthier so if you're healthier especially at our age you're out of the hospital system and that's a plus for everybody. <laughs>